This example consists of an electronic board represented here that contains um, several chips and we are interested to compute the temperature of a chip that is located at 120 mm from the leading edge. The 120 mm are measured to the halfway of the chip and the chip dimensions are 4 mm by 4 mm depth. The chip consumes 30 millivolts milli of energy and that energy is dissipated through convection to the air. Now the information that we have from experiments is a function of nozzle X in terms of Reynolds X and Prandtl. If we remember the definition of uh, nozzle X, so we have that nozzle X is given by h, the convection coefficient, multiplied by x and divided by the um, conductivity of the fluid. I would like to highlight the fact that nozzle in this equation is a function of Reynolds x and Prandtl, only two variables, and that's the result from dimension and analysis. So what we are going to have most of the time from experimental data is an information from nasal x, not information for the actual convection coefficient. <coughs> now, if we replace the value for um, Reynolds, remember that um, Reynolds x is equal to the velocity multiplied by x, x is the distance from the leading edge divided by the kinematic viscosity. We replace this value into the equation for nozzle, we can have an expression uh, for h. So first of all we have to sell we have to write on the left hand side h multiplied by x divided by the um, conductivity. So this equal to 0 0.4, 0 0.04 multiplied by Reynolds x and Reynolds x is velocity multiplied by x divided by nu to the 0 0.85 Prandtl to the one third and if we solve for h so we have h which is equal to the conductivity of the fluid divided by x and multiplied by 0 0.04 and uh, multiply by the velocity, this velocity will represent the velocity of the fluid, multiply by x divided by nu, and this to the 0 0.85 and Prandtl to the one third. Now we can see that this expression is in terms of x, so this is the local heat transfer coefficient, so we call it the local and it's a function of x, it's doubly explicit, and we are going to call this equation equation 2 and what is the one equation well the one equation is on the left hand side so what we have here is that the chip is um, generating some uh, electricity and that some energy due to electricity and that energy it is um, going through convection so all the energy that is transferred by convection is the generic that is generated in the chip and is 300 millivolts. By definition of our convection coefficient, we have <coughs> that and the energy of convection is equal to H average multiplied by Ts minus T infinity and multiplied by the area of the chip. From here we have an expression for h and we can use, I wrote here h average but we have to be sure which h as are we going to use. So I'll probably highlight this, that this is, um, this reminds because we can use the local and we can use the average um, definition. And so from this equation the only unknown is going to be the temperature on the surface. 
So we need to solve for the temperature on the surface and the temperature of the surface is going to be um, this one once we solve. And I, I'm now I'm going to call that equation number one. So this is equation number one. Okay. Mm, what I would like to do at this point is to plot the local heat transfer coefficient as a function of x. So this is x and if we want to plot it uh, that's going to be something like that. So at the beginning it is very large probably this is much more steeper than this but uh, it will decrease and it will have this form. So we are interested in this chip. So this is our our chip that we want to compute the temperature and probably the reason we want to compute the temperature we want to be sure that the temperature is not going to be higher than some value otherwise the chip will burn okay let me proceed now to compute uh, the different um, values for H uh, we can see first of all that this is a function of the properties of the fluid one property which is the conductivity second property is the viscosity and third property is Prandtl um, the only information that we have is that the fluid is uh, at some temperature and the temperature of the fluid is um, 25C and the velocity is 10 but uh, the question is at what temperature are we going to compute the properties? At 25? So we know that far away from the board the temperature is 25 but in between in the boundary layer the temperature will increase up to the temperature of the plate. So what we are going to do is we are going to assume some temperature on the plate. So let me... So this is the plate and we are going to assume Ts equal to some value. So we have u T infinity equal to 25. Um, I'm going to assume Ts equal to 45. It will be higher than, than 25. So um, the average temperature, so T average, it will be equal to 45 plus 25 and divided by 2 so that's going to be equal to 35 uh, C and in Kelvin is going to be equal to 308 Kelvin so with that we uh, look at table A4 and find the values now in the table you will see that we have um, here it is so in the table we have information for 300 and 350 so we are interested for 308 so we one option is to interpolate the values so after interpolation we'll get to the following results so we have that nu is equal to viscosity the kinematic viscosity is equal to 16.69 10 to the minus 6 meters square per second k it is equal to 26.9 10 to the minus 3 watts per meters kelvin and Prandtl it's equal to 0 0.706 so with those values we can compute H so we have several options so we can compute local H in which case we have that H of X at 120 we use equation 2 we use this equation 
and so we replace with those values I'm going to write you just have to replace the values the equivalent values I'm just going to replace the value of x which is 120 multiplied by 0 0.04 um, the velocity uh, and multiply by x which is 120 and divided by new this to the 0 0.85 and multiply by prandal to the one third you replace all of those values and you will have a value for h of 107.2 let me go and now compute the uh, different options for H. we are going to compute a local average over the chip so for the local average over the chip so we are taking this is the whole chip and this is 120 and uh, we are going to compute the chip the average in this section So the average over the chip is going to be equal to 1 over the total length that we are going to integrate and we are going to integrate over this section which is 0 0.04 0 0.004 no 1 0 multiply by the integral from 0. 118 to 0 0.122 so this is 0 0.118 to 0 0.122 so I'm just integrating over that specific region and so that integral is the integral of h of x which is this expression again dx and once we do this integral we are going to have a value of 107.2 okay the units of this are going to be um, watts uh, square meter kelvin watts square meter kelvin so we have two values that are basically the same if we take the value at the middle point or we take the average over the section let me do one last assumption let's compute the l average over the board so instead of having the average over one section so this is the board and we have the different chips here so we are going to take the average over the whole section from 0 to 120 so that's it the total average over the board is equal to 1 over 0 0.122 which is the total length the integral from 0 to 0 0.122 h of x dx and then we are going to have a value of 125.8 watts per square meter kelvin so we had three different values actually only two because the first one and the second one are the same the third one is much lower now to compute the temperature we just have to use equation 1 so equation 1 we replace Q which is 30 the area of the chip T infinity which is known and we have H so we replace all the possibilities for H that we have here and compute the temperature so let me write it in red so for this case I'm going to have that the temperature on the surface is going to be equal to 42.49 C 
In the second case, we are going to have the same. Ts is equal to 42.49 C, but in the third case, we are going to have that the temperature on the surface is equal to 39.9. So the difference in between these two, it is approximately equal to 2.5 degrees. And that will depend of how sensitive our chip is to the temperature. So what's the best solution in this case? The best solution is to take the either the local or the average, the local at this point or the average because they produce the same result. If we take the total average of for H, we are going to have a result which is uh, different from the actual prediction for the temperature. So this is one of the cases where the local average is much more important than the average over the whole body.